Welcome back to Warriors HQ. We got back to winning ways at Scottsdale last Friday night against Ulster, a 30 points to seven victory here. And we traveled to Dublin this weekend to take on the reigning Guinness Pro 14 champions, Leinster. Team news for that game will be with you tomorrow. And Tommy Seymour and Chris Fasaro previewed it with the press at Scottsdale earlier this week. Tommy, glad you're back in the swing of things after your, your rib injury. Uh, yeah, still, um, still trying to work the lungs out a little bit. I don't think they've quite caught up yet, but um, yeah, it was really nice to to get back out here and play a part um, on Friday night. Um, it's been obviously a, a few weeks since I played, and, and even longer since I played here. So yeah, it was really special to get out with the guys and uh, and you know achieve a win like that. Yeah, it's been good. Obviously, uh, delighted to sign another two-year deal. I've been here for uh, nine seasons now, so got a, a young family. We just stay across the road, so yeah, I'm uh, really happy to put pen to paper and be here for another two years. How do you feel now going into the final two games of the regular season? Yeah, good. Obviously, uh, you know, Friday night was a was a good marker for us. I think obviously boys were disappointed. We were quite vocal about that. Um, we were disappointed with with how Europe went, and um, you know, we knew we needed to come out here and and. Uh, you know, correct a few things and, and, and set our stall out for, for what is going to be, a, you know, a huge end of the season for us. So, um, you know, we're, we're in a good place, especially after Friday night. I think we did a lot of good things, but, um, you know, this week's going to be, you know, another step up going away to the RDS. So, um, you know, we're really looking forward to that challenge. And I think, um, you know, it's an exciting yet, yet another exciting marker for us to see where we're heading in the next few weeks. Lens obviously have still got that Champions Cup game to come after the mm -hmm. Glasgow Warriors game. From a player's point of view, would you prefer it if they fielded their strongest team at the weekend? Yeah, look, for me, for us, obviously, I, I, to be honest, I think with Leinster, it's well documented. I don't really know if they have a <laughs> first, second, third string, to be honest. I think they're all, whoever they bring in seems to just step up, um, you know, in quality. So, um, you know, for us, look, we're, we're looking to play the strongest opposition we can, we can, obviously, because, you know, in order to win this competition, you've got to beat the best teams at, at their best. So, um, you know, we'll be hoping, you know, we'll be hoping they feel that, you know, a, a really strong side. But as I said, with Leinster, you know, there there isn't really any weak points in them anyway regardless who's playing so I don't think we can you know we can claim to know really what their first best side is. Have you won at the RDS before Chris? Yes I have it was back in 2011 was last that right time. you and yeah yeah so uh, no that was really good fun I think it was Sean Lanines last year um, all the big guns were away at the, the World Cup so it was a young squad from us and from Leinster in fairness but uh, first one over there in, in a few years so that was uh, good fun I had a lot of Guinness afterwards so that was nice. So you know what it takes to win at the RDS which is important going over there this weekend? Yeah yeah we do um, you know, Leinster are a team that likes to hold on to ball, um, so you know we can't give the ball away cheaply. Defence is going to be very important again, and then keeping hold of it in attack. And if we can play with tempo and build pressure again, you know, like we did against Ulster, hopefully we can score some tries and get the win. Finally, being announced that Dave has signed a contract extension. Much of a shot in the arm is that as you approach the business end of the season? Yeah, it's obviously great. They, you know, it's great on several factors. One, obviously, Dave's you know a great coach, and you know has put us in position now, and you know. Um, you know he's transmitting everything he he sees as a coach and you know his philosophy down in the park and I think boys have I've noticed that this year having him you know for for all the preseason as well um, and on, on top of things just having continuity as a player as well and as a playing group knowing where you're going um, you know who's going to be running running things and and how we're looking um, you know in the future that's always a always a positive thing. For the first time ever, two players could not be separated when it came to picking your McRae Financial Services Warrior of the Month. Kyle Stain and Stafford McDowell both got 38% of over a thousand votes and they were awarded their awards earlier today. Congratulations, you are the McRae Financial Services Warriors of the Month for March. The first time we've had joint winners. It's, uh, how does that feel? Yeah, it feels good. It's obviously nice to get some, some recognition uh, from the fans. So it's, it's amazing playing here. It's such a good atmosphere and uh, just tops it off, really. You've been playing regularly this season. What's that been like? Yeah, it's been nice. It was, I was trained a lot last year and, uh, and played once. So it's been nice to get a kind of run of games in this year and, and really get a feel for it and what it's like. And you were playing in the title-winning air side last yeah. weekend too. How much did you enjoy that? Yeah, I loved it. It was nice. Obviously, start the season with them. Um, probably played eight or nine games there at the start of the season and then missed out a bit when I was playing here and then uh, it was nice to be able to go back and kind of finish it off in a good way uh, with a good performance and a good win. And how good is it to have been voted one of the Warriors of the Month for March? Yeah, it's good. Uh, it means a lot, obviously, the, rec the recognition from the fans and um, playing here is such a good atmosphere. <laughs> and um, yeah, you know, it tops off really. And Kyle, it's been a whirlwind couple of months for you. What have the highlights been so far? Uh, I think highlight was definitely last week's win against Ulster. Um, it was you know first sold out uh, Scotland crowd we've had, and they were they were electric the whole game. So 
Yeah, definitely that one. Now you've you play a lot of 15s in South Africa, but you've switched from Scotland sevens. What's that been like? Uh, it's been good. The the guys have been really welcoming, and um, you know a lot of the boys in centres and like Jacko and Lee Jones um, have helped me out in the back and make, made the transition pretty smooth. What are you expecting this weekend from a, a tough Leinster side? Oh, I think Leinster sort of speak for themselves. You know, they, they're going to be really accurate and, and really physical. So we're just going to going to have to be on top of our game on in all facets. And what would it mean to you to reach the Guinness Pro 14 final at Celtic Park next month? Oh, I think it's definitely something the guys are working for, and to to get one at home in Glasgow, you know, in a place like in Celtic Park, with 60,000 60, people would be 60,000 Glaswegians would be awesome. And just finally, you've only been here a couple of months. What does it mean to you that the supporters have voted you as one of the Warriors of the Month? Oh yeah, obviously it's a big honour for me that the that the fans have. Um, have backed me like that. Um, yeah, like I said, everyone here has just been so welcoming and this is sort of just puts the cherry on top of it. Earlier this week, it was confirmed that head coach Dave Rennie will be staying at Scotson for another year, having signed a new contract. Earlier this year, whilst we were in Zebra, I sat down with him to discuss his new deal. You're into your 30s and you've signed a new one-year contract. Well, at what point in the season and a half, season and a three quarters that have gone so far, did you decide, right, I'm, I'm staying here, I've, I've decided I want another one? Oh, it was ages ago. Um, oh, like I really enjoyed my first year last year. It's, it's been a different challenge. Um, but as I knew coming in, really good people in the club. Uh, you know, so I got, we've had a lot of fun with We've done a lot of hard work. We, we didn't quite get to where we wanted last year. and um, So looking longer term, I think we've got a better side this year and I think we'll be even better next year. And, and so really keen to be part of that. And um, yeah, so it's, uh, it was a pretty easy decision. Do you feel that this side is a side that's growing, a side that's constantly improving? Is that part of the reason that you've, you've put pen to paper? Yeah, I, I do. I look at, as I say, I think, uh, I think we're better this year. I think we're going to be better again next year. And, Next year comes with its own challenges. We're going to have uh, you know, possibly 20 guys at a World Cup. Um, so they'll miss the initial start of a comp and then how they're managed back in. There'll be some of them required to, to have a break post-World um, Cup from a Scottish perspective. And, and then those guys will play Six Nations. So we won't see a lot of those, those men. But um, you know, we've got good depths, as, as we know. It's going to be a great opportunity for others during that period. And, and um, so there's no reason why we can't kick on. You know, we're certainly not going to look for excuses with uh, missing a few guys. You can listen to that full interview with Dave right now on our official club podcast, Warriors Weekly. You can get that on Apple Podcasts, Acast or every other podcast platform. Next up at Scotston, it is Edinburgh and 10,000 supporters will be packed in here and you can still get the tickets now at glasgowarriors.org and we're all building up to what should be an amazing final at Celtic Park. We would love to be there and you can get in early and get tickets now at scottishrugby.org.